All right, here's the new motors from Brother Hobby. These are the 1507 2800 kV, 3600 kV, and 4100 kV. So this is a new stator size from Brother Hobby. Uh, it's a step up from the 1407. So the stator diameter has been increased by one millimeter. But that's not going to be the only difference. I'll show you later what's different uh, about this new entry from Brother Hobby. So they sent me one of each that I'll be testing pretty soon. And uh, so this is what it looks like. As you can see, uh, interesting new features. They have two different mounting options. Uh, there's a M3 and M2 threads. Uh, the M3 is going to be on 19 millimeter uh, spacing. Uh, and that's for all four and the M2 is going to be on 12 millimeter spacing so so there's two options there uh, pretty interesting options for that I guess uh, I guess if you're mounting it on the smaller uh, diameter uh, screws I guess you could always clip this off with the uh, uh, you have to be careful maybe with the Dremel or a um, I would do it with a Dremel because if you use if you use a uh, any kind of uh, cutters, you might uh, you might just botch it and mess it up, you know. So, of course, with the Dremel, you're gonna wanna shield uh, the motor like so with uh, some metal plate or something, you know. So in case the Dremel slips, uh, it'll lose you. A fractions of a gram for weight so I don't know if it's worth the trouble but uh, some of you guys that like to uh, uh, get the lightest possible that's an option pretty interesting motor step up from the 1407 the one that everyone knows uh, the powerhouse 1407 from Brother Hobby I don't think they're replacing it it's just another option that Brother Hobby is uh, offering because the 1407 is such a successful motor and it does so well on 3 and 4 inch builds so I don't think they're gonna replace that anytime soon. Some other features that they, they're incorporating into this motor is the naked uh, bottom, the minimal base. Uh, that kind of saves a little bit of weight, but that's of course offset by the dual mount patterns. And uh, another thing that, uh, that you can notice is the one-piece uh, solid shaft. I'm not sure if this is titanium or just hardened steel. I was looking for, any, for specs on the motor but I couldn't find anything on the shaft, so I'm sure Brother Javi is gonna uh, clarify that in, in, uh, you know, uh, when they uh, when they release it. And it is a sol uh, it is a, a hollow shaft, and uh, seems to be partially hollow. So it's hollow only r up to yeah up to the where it meets the bell right there is hollow there so the motor comes with a hundred and fifty five millimeters of uh, motor wire and this is 26 gauge so let's weigh it with that much wire uh, so 18 grams with 155 millimeters and if we remove uh, the excess wire and leave it at 50 millimeters then we end up with uh, let's see that's 1.1 1 .1. Uh, so the motor is about it's gonna be about 16.9 grams so let's uh, let's open it up and see what other of the new features they've given this motor and there's another feature that you'll notice right away uh, for this size motor they're going with a 12 pole arrangement so here we have uh, uh, 12 uh, poles uh, 12 coils on the stator and of course it's going to be 14 magnets so this is similar to the larger size motors 2204, 2207, 2206 uh, so that's interesting that they're, they're going with that configuration it's gonna be interesting to see how it compares to the 1407 as far as uh, you know maximum thrust. Of course, that uh, on on the types of tests I do, uh, it's kind of hard to uh, quantify the response on the motor. Uh, you, you'll need uh, 
better hardware, testing hardware to, to find that out. So it's going to be interesting to see when people start using it to see if they notice any improvement in response and overall performance of the motor, you know, going from 9 poles of the 1407 to 12 poles on this motor. Even for this size, I can see the, the magnets are arc magnets. So that's that's pretty good. That you know make it, makes the motor even a better performer as you can maintain the gap an even gap from magnet to stator face right here. All right, let's get a close up view of the motor. All right, here's a close up uh, view of the motor taken apart. So as you can see, very thin laminations. I imagine kind of hard to measure them but they, they certainly look like this could be 0.15 millimeter laminations. They're very very thin. So let's see what the stator height is. It's supposed, it's supposed to be 7 millimeters. Let's get a more or less a measurement there. Uh, yeah, it looks like a nominal 7 millimeters there. So nominal height of seven millimeters and as usual windings from brother hobby are always you know some of the best that you'll see very nice and neat looks like single strand wire there so pretty good that'll support pretty good load uh, and uh, the usual uh, bearings for this size motor and two millimeter shaft and the arc magnets, pretty good density on the magnets. And of course, uh, that's supposed to be. I don't see any balancing mud, but I'm sure it's balanced. So uh, looks like they got this uh, motor done just right. They didn't need that much balancing, I guess. Looks pretty good. And there's the shaft. It's a new look for the uh, the, the bell cap. It's uh, just three spokes right there. Minimize weight. Uh, so there you can see the air gap more or less. Don't know if you guys can see that, uh, but very close air gap. Alright, so here are the thrust test results for the Brother Hobby 1507 4100 kV motor. This one came in slightly lower at uh, 3990 kV. Based on that, I tested on 3S and 4S, starting with the usual props, the uh, DYS 3030 by 3 and moving on to 4 and 5 inch prop just to see how much power the motor is actually able to make. So quite good performance out of this motor. It's 
especially with this uh, prop that does not usually make this much uh, thrust but with this motor as you can see it's almost 700 grams here and quite manageable amps I think uh, remember that in flight this is gonna go down quite a lot probably in the range of about 35% lower once in flight these are max burst amp numbers so in flight as the props on load the max burst is also going to be lower but generally around 35 percent even 40 percent in some cases uh, so moving on to the 30 30 by 4 surpassing 700 grams also went ahead and tried this uh, new hq 30 40 by 3 i purchased it just to see how it performs quite a lot of thrust but uh, at a cost amps are quite high but should be an interesting prop to to fly uh, then on to the rotor x 3044 pretty good thrust there too same with the Lumineer 3040 by 3 this one usually does pretty well 760 at 28.7 amps so should be manageable for most setups then we move on to the four inch props and this motor just keeps making power so as the prop size increases so does the power amps uh, seem to be in line with the power that it's making for this uh, size motor so the 4045 from gen fan 900 and the 4043 i think this might be the first motor that surpasses uh, one kilogram on this prop and then the dal t 4045 about the same as the hq although this one's using a little bit more amps and then i threw in the five inch prop uh, two blade just to see what the motor is truly capable of and here we can see that's pretty insane uh, 1.2 kilograms out of this motor that's almost what we were getting back in the day with the 2205 the first 2205 motors on three blade props it was right about there 1.2 to 1.3 kilograms so that's quite amazing that this little motor is putting out that much power not that you can use that prop because that's going to require a large battery and uh, that defeats the purpose of uh, having an uh, ultra lightweight and it's really not that efficient but it'll drive this prop that much but probably not a good match maybe on 3s uh, if anybody wants to use that on 3s it, that's a possibility but five inches probably not a good match uh, this is mainly for three inch props on 4s so as you can see very powerful little motor from uh, brother hobby Alright, uh, thank you for watching and until the next video.